People of Reddit, what do you think happens after we die? No idea looking forward to finding out but not in a rush. The options. Nothingness just like before we were born. Heaven hell. Reincarnation. Question mark? Live a good life. If there are gods and they are just. Then they will not care how devout you have been. But will welcome you based on the virtues you have lived by. If there are gods. But unjust. Then you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods. Then you will be gone. But will have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. If my mate keeps his promise my browser history is hopefully deleted. When answering a question on death in a comment section. A person should state their age. 18 year old me claimed I'd be dead by 40. 67 year old me isn't in that big of a hurry. I'm old enough to worry more about how I'll die as the inevitable closes in. Excruciating pain over months or quick and painless in my sleep. We can now play as Luigi. You become part of the universe again and people take your stuff. I know that the ones who love us will miss us. You wake up in a horse carriage and you hear someone say hey you. Nothing. My brain no longer functions. I get cremated. The kids share their inheritance of $3. 47. We exit the simulation. I'm really scared of it being nothing. This is irrational. Since I won't realize I am gone. But it just seems terrible to not be able to exist. Or do anything anymore. I hope there's an afterlife. A big red you die test appears and then you respawn at the bonfire. You get added to the choir in the Spongebob theme song. There are infinite possibilities. I remember one time I died. I had to pick from a list of Futurama episodes to decide which life I would go into next. You could spend a few million years in the Bardus. Find yourself falling deeper into material planes. Or higher into astral ones. You could find Nirvana. You could be reincarnated into any life that has ever existed. You could be reincarnated into the same life. Or another instance of that life in a parallel dimension. You could go to the heavens or hells of any religion. Or you could get lost in your own dreams. If you stay aware as it's happening. I think you get more input into the result. You feel exactly like you did before you were born. Nothing. You become the absence of existence. And you're not even aware of it. Sounds perfect. Yo if anyone does that Microsoft Sam reads Reddit crap. Hello YouTube. D-E-C-O-M-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N When you die life restarts. With the Big Bang starting from a singularity it expanded and created the universe with billions of stars and planets and eventually life happened on earth and eventually you were born. After you die the universe ends. It speeds up expanding and energy is lost and slowly slows down and one day it will stop. At that point the universe's gravity will bring everything back together into a huge supermassive black hole. I.e. a singularity. Then after eons of time goes by another big bang explode creating the universe again. After countless years go by life inhabits earth again and you are born again. If life doesn't get on a planet the cycle just repeats itself over and over until one day you are born again and over and over again you asked yourself this same question. What happens when you die? This is the 47. 912 time that I told you this. I think our life force is like an electric current and all life comes from this one energy source. Each person. Animal. Plant. Etc. Is like a light bulb connected to the same energy current. Our egos disappear when we die but the energy is recycled like water that evaporates and gathers in clouds and rains down into the oceans again. A natural process that makes the most of the continued use of energy to organize and create complexity in the universe. We get isocade. Same thing it was before you were born. Please I don't want to go back in there. Nothing. We sleep for eternity. I want to believe there's an afterlife so I can meet some people there that left a huge hole in my heart. Just to at least say goodbye. But I don't believe in it. 
I believe it's the same as before we were born. Just nothing. End of consciousness. End of everything that was you. But you also die once more after that. You also die when the world forgets you at some point. Agnostic here. We don't know. There's no point in thinking about it, unless for fun. Because your speculations can't change the reality. Most likely scenario. Everything continues. Except you aren't there to witness it. I know this sounds silly. Remember back if you can. Before your childhood. Maybe you can catch glimpses of memories of when you were just small. Now imagine. Before you gained that awareness. Before you were born. There was nothing. Not an impending doom. Not a forever dark void. But a simple. Nothing. I believe we just go back there. Where we came from. Home. You get judged. Not by God himself or by Jesus. But by an underpaid technician who judges like 10,000 people a day and mostly lets everybody through. Then the guy throws the real bad souls in the incinerator or sometimes if his numbers look bad he just throws all the souls in the incinerator and it sucks to be unlucky. Then if you didn't end up in the incinerator. You get to come back as a baby and you cry because you are so disappointed. Nothing. So like. Tossing and turning and feeling a weird pain in your neck and now my shoulder hurts and I have a headache? As a modern Christian and believer of science. I'd like to believe the afterlife is something just outside of what we conceive as humans. Kinda like how fringe supernatural terror shti always scares me. How do you stop something you don't understand? Something outside plausible deniability and reality? This. I've been raised Christian. Turned more skeptical over the years. Right now after observing the universe as we know it I refuse to believe our planet and ourselves were just lucky to exist in the right conditions. Moon adjusts the right size and distance to stabilize earth. Right distance from the sun. Not tightly locked so the whole planet is livable. Massive planets that soak asteroids in the outer rim of our solar system. Whether we've been helped by supernatural or natural things or a thing. Or both. I feel we weren't just lucky. Just like an ant can't conceive of space and the universe. We cannot conceive the afterlife. Well if the universe is infinite and all there is infinite universe is surely whatever biological makeup that created you will one day be created again? This begs the question. If your parents never met would you still be here? Who would you be? I know that the ones who love us will miss us. We return to monk. The world keeps on going. As if you never existed. It's almost as if universe doesn't give a flying fck about you. Nothing. We just cease to be. I've told my kid that it's like when he shuts his PC off. The processor no longer processes. The graphics card is just a hunk of metal and plastic and silicone. Basically. We just stop. The problem is that we as humans are so self-centered that it's hard for us to accept the fact that no. We are not important enough and we do in fact cease to exist. The relief of not having to exist in the world that exists of only sadness and a pain for some of us.